So we got this Hava compact countertop dishwasher. The portable power station has arrived. We thought we're gonna introduce it to you because we have a baby now, we're gonna go in our truck full time again and uh, it's perfect for four people's dishes. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. And on the road, you always want to, well, at least us, the, the least thing you want to do is clean dishes, and that was a lot of work to us. So we decided to have a dishwasher, the portable small one. Check it out. Nice, there you see how it's cleaning the fruits and vegetables. And in our case, also baby bottles. Hava Compact Countertop Dishwasher Model TDQR01. Check it out if you want to. There's the manual. Here you can see all the wash cycles. I'm gonna let it run smoothly right now. Maybe really slow. For you guys, you can see all, everything that's possible. You have a normal mode, a speed mode, a eco mode, a baby care, heavy mode, and a fruit mode. So check it out and uh, there's two hoses it's a connection to the kitchen directly and you also can just put it in your sink or whatever we decided now for the sink but in the truck it will be definitely hooked up to the water supply and to the gray water tank so in our case we used now it came with a bucket as well so we filled this water in here it says all all the description here it's plugged in in our case we ordered a 230 version it also exists with a 110 volt version yeah, this is the external hose and it comes with a nice plug so we decided to put it in our dirty sink <laughs> you can see now the light goes on automatically when you do this nice espresso we have coffee coffee mug here fork and you don't have to reach in because you can pull this whole way out sure. nice and then and then it's Matteo mug Matteo's mug exactly <laughs> and then what you do is you take those little things you can buy them anywhere I guess we don't take it out because they're clean now, but they fit exactly here. And then you close that thing, you go on the starting button, and you choose the mode, let's say more normal, and you push the button, and in 69 minutes, it's done. But cool, this is exactly what we would need in our truck. So it's five liters maximum per load it takes. And we thought we can handle that in our new truck. Nice. Check out what we got. A big box for unpacking. Let's see what's in there. Looks like batteries. They pack 230 volt. Nice. We have a warranty card. We have a power oak charger. Comes with a nice baggie. Different adapters. And the battery. 
<laughs> the portable power station has arrived from Power Oak. They set us up with this and it's included of course the power bank with 230 volt, 12 volt and some other plugs we figure out. The charging, a lot of cables and it comes in a beautiful box. So there we go. We just turned on AC on. That's what I figured. And now we're trying. Of course we didn't read the manuals. DC on. Now the power bank is totally on. And it's charging. Woohoo! And it even says five watts charging. Nice. So we just took Isabella's phone now. We take it off. Nothing charging. We put it on. Charging. This is great. Nice. So here you see you have uh, extra 230 plugs. Two of them, really nice lid. So I think this thing is also when it starts raining, you don't have to, I mean, of course you should take it away, but the first minutes you don't have to worry. Um, here you have USB plugs, two with five volt, three amps max. You have actually four, sorry. Here you have a USB-C with 60 watts. That means our MacBook, for instance, we can totally charge here without a different plug, 230 or whatever. We just go to the um, USB-C. Here we have a 12 volt output, also really nice. Um, marine grade, it says. And what is this? Ah, this is two plugs, 12 volt, three amps. I have never seen those or don't know for what I use that, but I will figure out. And here's another 12 volt output. Here's power on, power off, obviously. And this computer is very, very detailed, this display. DC on off, AC off. Um, it shows you here how much uh, percentage the battery it came with 56. I just unpacked it and started it. I don't know if you should do that, but I did. And here you have the two uh, wireless charging with 15 watt each, I guess. Yeah. And on the other side, there's just nothing. The handles. Here's a little fan because that size, I think you need a fan when you really use it. Here's air in, and here is an input, which is really nice. So hi again, now we had this uh, station here for a test ride a couple of weeks. And uh, we are using right now our cool box, which is set at 17 degrees. Uh, and it's a uh, very efficient, very big capacity of the, of the battery. Uh, there's five ways how to charge that. So I'm gonna explain you a little bit about this one. We are right now plugged into a solar plate. This has a hundred watt. It where it's plugged in, it's right here on this input. So our solar plates fit in there. And we have like a hundred watt solar plate. And when it's in the sun, it can charge, charge by solar. Nice. That's one way to charge it. Then if you don't have that fancy plug you can also use those uh, plugs and uh, those plugs have the advantage with uh, the power oak they come here you can see you can connect those and the other end is this fancy uh, plug and this fancy plug fits exactly in the power oak station uh, one possibility which is you plug in the power oak uh, yeah adapter to a normal 230 volt plug. They can also, for the American market, they have that with 110. And uh, the other end, you just plug in the station. So that's no problem. If you decide to leave that and you wanna charge it in your car, you leave that one in. And you just plug in the other version. And this other end is a car plug. So this also comes with it. And with this car plug, obviously you can have 12 volt and I think I'm pretty sure it's also 24 volts. You can charge the power oak station. You so can also charge it 
with a generator because it's the same system. You just start the generator and you use this one here. Yeah, I guess that should be covering the five ways of charging. We have 98% charged. We are plugged in a German normal outlet with this charger. And in two hours, oh, 99, now you see, within two hours, it's from 56%, it went up to 100. So that's pretty cool. Here, this is our video editing program on our MacBook and we are plugged in and here and with other chargers we usually it's 20% yeah nice we started at 20% I tell you why we are so excited we started at 20% uh, 19% sorry and it went up immediately to 20% even though I'm running the program um, for editing yeah that's pretty cool so that means this uh, 60 watt power outlet USB-C you can really sit and work and it's not just holding your battery it's even charging so that is amazing news to us perfect being on the road of course in an expedition vehicle you can see that hold on well I'm editing a video there you go there's our new truck <laughs> So why would you have this external power bank anyways? Um, I mean, for us, we have a big expedition vehicle. We have plenty of batteries, um, but we want it to be not hooked up to a generator anymore while traveling. So the last five years, whenever we found a nice place uh, and we wanted to stay a little bit longer, we had to start our diesel generator, which makes a lot of noise. So in our new vehicle, we said, well, in this case, we want to use something like that. Uh, this gives us easily well, I would say two to three days longer uh, with the capacity that has uh, to stay at one place without even starting my engine for the alternator or whatever solutions we have. Um, also, it's very good because you charge with solar. Like we have a lot of uh, solar plates, so we can hook them up straight to this one and recharge the battery. That's perfect. So I think that's why we have this on board as an extra backup. If you uh, want to get one of those, um, they were so nice uh, that they gave us a link. You can see this link somewhere here. Have fun with it. So thanks for enjoying this video. See you when you see it. We just give you some news. Well, first of all about us living GIF 4x4. We have the new truck here and we're gonna build a new expedition vehicle. But also we heard, because we are really keen on shipping again to the continent America, either Argentina or Canada. So uh, we heard that on 7th of September this year, Canada is reopening. So if you book your ship with Caravan Shippers uh, in August and you wanna ship from Hamburg to Halifax, that is possible again. Yeah. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more, not so much technical stuff, but it will be a little more stuff what we use on the road. And uh, yeah, um, let's see how this looks in our final truck. But that will take a while and stay tuned and hopefully you like it. See you when we see you.